um, to turn it back around? How, how happy are you with the result? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm happy to win, then I'm happy to win saving match points, happy to be first time in the quarterfinals. I'm just happy right now. <laughs> Coming into the third set, did you felt like you had a little bit of that energy to push through? What was, what was going through your mind after? Um, yeah, I think uh, I definitely had the momentum on my side after the second set. Uh, I knew she was going to be thinking about that uh, match point, and uh, you know, I was just uh, I had a few chances to break her earlier in the third set, but she was she was just serving amazing today. But um, I'm happy that I could break her and then serve it out. Donna, you've come back from match points down three times this season. <laughs> uh, you know, given how your evolution as a competitor you know, where maybe those matches might not have gone your way or maybe you got down on yourself in the past. Is that, do you think, the biggest kind of improvement of, in explains kind of your season and this result? Yeah, I think definitely I changed a lot mentally this year. I improved uh, a lot in believing that I could win at any given moment, even when I'm match points down. I think um, in Toronto against Madison, that was just a whole nother level. <laughs> <laughs> I was like one foot in the locker room already. Um, but yeah, I think when the matches are like this close, uh, you know, even if you're match point down, like you have to believe that you can win. And I was really going out there at five, when she was serving for 5 4. I was really thinking that I could win this game and try to turn the match around. But, but how do you just decide, like, how do you change your mentality on that? Like, at what moment do you think I can win? From, go from being like down when you're down match points to now being a player who believes that it's not over? Um, I think I've always been a player that fights until the end. I've always been a fighter, and uh, but since last year, since I had my, since I had a few top 10 wins, I really got a lot of confidence from that, and you know, I managed to build on that. Getting so close to this stage a few times now, just what does it mean for you to make your first Grand Slam quarterfinal? <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh my god, I'm going to lose to her again in the fourth round. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, even when I was losing, I was like, okay, this is like a completely different match to when I played her at Wimbledon. I really felt like I was I more in the match, whereas in Wimbledon, when I lost to her, it was just one-way street, same against Joe in um, in Paris. But today I was really in, in the match, and I was like, okay, I really have a good opportunity here. And in the third set, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to try to take this. You were, you were very relieved after your first round against Hogan Kamp. I remember talking to you and you were like, I don't know how I won this match. And yeah. again, a match that you, you don't know how you won it. How much are you looking forward to a, to a straightforward match? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that happens with me. It always has to be a little bit complicated otherwise. Uh, yeah, but I think first, like, first round was really tough for me because I don't, that's a really tough matchup for me. And then I think against Putintseva, I played a really, really good match. I was really going for my shots. And then today, I think I played some good ten. I mean, today it was a lot of big serving, so there was not that many rallies. But I think in the third set, I was tr I tried to be more aggressive. And it was, I think, working well for me. And hopefully, I can just keep playing better. After that first set, the tie break, obviously, she comes up with two magical shots. Yeah. So how do you, what's your reaction as you're walking to the chair after that? Um. Yeah, I mean, the, that passing shot at 5 all that was just, that was unreal, like, unreal. And I was like, okay, you know, she she got a little bit lucky, I feel, or, I mean, not not lucky, she played really well, so it, it was not lucky, but um, I was like, okay, you're in, you're in this match, and still, like, you can still win, and I was, physically, I was feeling good, I felt like I could play for another five hours, so that was a big advantage to, for me today, again. Uh, ben Jich next, and you're pretty good friends with her. Just your thoughts on her as an opponent and her win today as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, we always joke that we're playing each other in the draw. <laughs> like we're, um, But we actually played in Paris, and I think, was that the first time I beat her? I think so. Um, we, pr we practice together often. I know her very well. She's such a nice girl. And you know, I'm really looking forward to share the court with her on, on Wednesday. Speaking of practicing, <laughs> uh, you're everybody's favorite practice partner. <laughs> Comes up a lot, uh, but also, but from your side, as somebody who practices a lot with other players, um, a variety of different players, top players, everyone, how much does that help you? And you know, you played Yulia today, who you practice with a lot. You'll play Benchich. Do you find that when you step out there, that those practice sessions have helped you in terms of 
information or is it just more confidence that you've hit with them, you're familiar with their ball? I mean, I if if I was going by confidence in my practices, I would be like the worst player because I always get killed every time in practice. So I thankfully I don't. It's not, it's not like that in matches, but um, I really enjoy. There's some. There's like a few girls that I really enjoy practicing with when they don't take it too seriously. When we can still have fun on the practice court. Otherwise, you know, what well, if we cannot have fun on the practice court? Then what's the point? Okay. Donna Belinda clearly likes pace likes to counter the power, is really good at it. When you play her, do you have to be careful not to give her too much of it? Do you have to be smart about how you navigate that? Hmm. Well, that's a good question. Maybe I should think about that for my match. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I... I will probably try to change the change the rhythm and play a few high balls, few few slices, few drop shots to try to keep her uh, guessing. But you know, my m main game will definitely to be be to be aggressive and to try to open up the points. Court. Um, just the other day, you were saying that like you know, when you're young and you're 16 and 17 and you're making WTA finals, you think it's going to happen all the time and that. The results are going to be there all the time. Now that you've made, you know, your first quarterfinal, can you appreciate this milestone in a way that maybe, I don't know, had this happened earlier? I don't know. I mean, yeah. I mean, this is uh, this is really such an amazing achievement for me. I've been already three times in the set, in the fourth round, and now um, making my first quarterfinals is amazing. But I think. Me, if this happened to me when I was 18, I would be like, oh my God, like this is unreal. But right now I'm like really happy, but um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not done. I don't want to be done. I feel like there's still a lot, lot to be done here and I really want to keep going and try to win a uh, few more matches. You think you made any mistakes as a prodigy? Things you wish you hadn't done that you think you would avoid if you could do them again? Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, for sure, I made uh, mistakes. Uh, it's uh, everyone makes mistakes, especially when you're young. And but um, I don't know what I would change because when I, I was at, at that at those moments, I, I thought I was making the right decisions, obviously. But um, you know, my family really supported me even when I was, when, even when they knew I was making the bad decisions, they really supported me and they helped me a lot and I'm really grateful for them.